Olympics, which has led to a huge uptake now. Restrictions have eased. Alex Wood has been finding out more. Every chess master was once a beginner. And here at this club in South Bristol, there are plenty of those. I've won a lot more recently than like in the past. And I think I'm getting better. I've only just picked it up. Like I never used to play chess, but it's just nice to come back to something I used to do when I was little. I started playing chess when I was five, but I took a two year time out off chess. An early time yeah. Was it much? Yeah. During lockdown, group sessions like these weren't allowed, and that led to fears about the long-term future of local clubs post-pandemic. But stuck at home and with nowhere to go, it seems many of us turned to the board. It's one of those enduring games. Walt's known how to play it for a while, and I guess in lockdown he probably played a bit more, just having a bit more time, and us all trying to fill our time. Oh my goodness, hands down, he would absolutely beat me. Yeah, no, not, not my game, but I'm glad to see him enjoying it. But boredom wasn't the only thing encouraging chess during lockdown. You should see the places they play in the Soviet Union. I'm planning on it. Millions of us were introduced to it by The Queen's Gambit, which was a hugely popular series on Netflix, about a young chess prodigy. It may have been fictional, but the chess wasn't. The Queen's Gambit, unlike other films about chess, was actually quite realistic. Uh, the chess on it was, was accurate. Uh, they were advised by grandmasters about how to do it. And yet it was a great story at the same time. Um, and I, I think it could it showed chess not as just something which old men do in smoky rooms falling asleep. That young people, there's a lot of tension, it's a dynamic game, um, and yeah, it's a very complicated game. Well, complicated it may be at a competitive level, but at club level, it seems, chess is something to enjoy. It's a traditional pastime with a rich history, and based on those present here, a bright future. Alex Wood, ITV News, Bristol. Good to see people picking it back up.